everyone i hope you must stay safe and stay healthy so let's start today's fact today i am talking about what is stage fright you are about to perform for the first time your knees are trembling you feel like you are going to throw up and your heart is pounding in your chest these are symptoms of stage fright known scientifically as topophobia or more generally known as performance anxiety stage fright is a real phenomenon affecting both new and seasoned performers not only on stage but in a variety of performance venues dancers musicians and also actors may all fall victims to this fear and comes with performance even in front of a camera or in a recording studio instead of a stage people who can power through stage fright often find that the extra adrenaline surge enhances rather than deteriorate from performance a violinist with shaking fingers may find their vibrato is just a little better than usual an actor may inject more energy and passion into a performance when adrenaline is channeled into his or his work others are so overcome by topophobia that they literally cannot make into that stage or if they do at an mistake they cannot go forward with their performance people with extreme anxiety before performance may be helped by taking anti anxiety medication and by undergoing therapy to help them master this fright for many people performance is tinged with anxiety since it means you are being judged by an audience even when the others are not present such as the audience for a movie you are filming you're still going to eventually be evaluated on your performance this can create mild to severe anxiety or what is called a fright to flight reaction when we are in a situation that create this reaction the body chemically reacts by producing higher amounts of adrenaline for some people this will even result in panic attacks and others will at the last feel butterflies in the stomach most people are more afflicted by mild to moderate stage fright there are certainly ways to help reduce the symptoms of mild performance anxiety it's first important to remember why you are performing usually because it sometimes you enjoy its doing this can help reduce your fear ignore the audience is another great tip perform for yourself rather than for others being fully prepared for your performance helps too so practice practice and practice stage fright may be exaggerated when we are tired or ill it can also be worsened by abuse of medication or alcohol many people find their anxiety dementia when they are well rested in good physical condition and when they avoid use alcohol at the night before of a performance exercising lightly an hour or two hour before a performance can help boost serotonin and dopamine levels
which help to combat excess adrenaline secretion. If you feel mild to moderate stage fright, taking as many opportunities as you can to perform may help you. For people who have severe stage fright, this may not be as helpful. For those with less severe anxiety, greater the number of performance boosters confidence. Many people fear making mistakes. But the nature of life performance is that it is occasionally imperfect. If you forget a line, hit the wrong word or hit the wrong note. Don't battery your mistake. In most cases, audience fail to notice a mistake unless you point it out. Some people find great help in doing deep breathe. Medactive exercise or doing visualization prior to taking the stage. Experiment with a few different methods to see which ones works for you. In all, remember that stage fright is common to most performance when it is so severe that it interferes with your performance. Professional help in the form of therapists and coaches often allows people to take the stage with greater confidence and less thopophobia symptoms. So that's all for today. Goodbye everyone. Have a good day ahead.